Well, hello and welcome to this very short exercise on uh, probability without replacement. Uh, it is, as you would expect, a GCSE, a GCSE examination question. Now, in the actual uh, exam question itself, there are three subsections. Now, the second one, or the middle um, subsection, is reasonably easy to understand, so I've, I've left it out. Now, it says here a bag contains three red discs and a black disc, which makes four discs in total. Uh, Ahmed picks, takes a trend of two discs without replacement. I will ask to draw a probability tree diagram for these events. So, if we start with the red disc, so if he picks out the red disc, the probability of picking the red disc the first time round is going to be 3 over 4, because we've got 3 discs and 4 discs. We've got 3 red discs and 4 discs in total, so that'll be 3 over 4. Similarly, the probability of picking a black disc will be uh, 1 over 4, because we've got only one black disc and there are 4 discs in total. If we picked a red disc first time round, the probability of picking a, a red disc second time round will be uh, 2 over 3, because we've got only 2 red discs left now, and there are 3, disc in to three discs in total there. Okay? And if you picked a red disc first time round, second time round, you can actually pick a black disc, and the probability will be 1 over 3, because there's only one black disc, and there are 3 discs left. Again, to check, if you add those two, you get one there. Right. Now, if you picked a black disc the first time round, that means that what's left in the bag will now be three red discs. So we are certain to pick a red disc. So the probability of picking red discs will be uh, three over three, which is one and uncertain there. Now, having picked a, a black disc the first time round, there are no more black discs left, so you can leave this branch empty, if you wish. But I tend to leave it in because it helps you to get to grips with what I'm doing. So we've got no we've got no black disc, and probably to pick a, a black disc would be zero over three, which is zero. And that's it for the first slide. So next slide. Okay, now this is where we start on this subsection. Now there is no requirement to produce a, a tree diagram. This is the trade diagram from the first subsection, okay? But I think it makes sense to produce uh, a tree diagram for this uh, subsection because we are going to pick three discs. Now, this tree diagram is for picking two discs only. Because we're going to pick three discs, it might just help us understand what to do in there. So, uh, three diagram will now look something like this one here. Uh, a red, a red. And a red, so that's one over two left because there's only one disc left there, red, and another disc, the black disc left. So you've got only two left there. So the probability of picking a red disc there would be one over two, and for the black disc again one over two there. Okay, we could go this route now. This one, this one, and that one there. So having picked a red and a black, the next one has got to be a red because we've got only one black there. So we are certain to pick a red disc there, so the probability would then be 2 over 2, which is 1. So we are certain to pick a red disc there. Or we can go the route of uh, the black disc and the red disc and the red disc as well. So we are about to pick a red disc now because we have exhausted our black discs now. So the probability of picking the third disc being red is uh, Two over two there. Okay, now there's no point going down this route here because there's no other black there, so we stop there. Okay, so uh, what we've got is we can pick red, red, black. We can do uh, red, red, black because we want to have one disc left there. So we pick two reds and a black. So we've got one red disc left, and uh, we got uh, three over four times two thirds times a half, and that should give us what we cancel out, and that should give us a quarter there. Or we can go down the route of red, black, red there, and that gives us 3 over 4 times 1 over 3 times 2 over 2, and again, that will give us, when we cancel out, give us 1 over 4 again. 
or we can do black red red so we pick three discs now and there are four and the fourth one has got to be red and that's going to be uh, a quarter there times three over three which is 13 and two over two which is one again we end up with a quarter there so now what we've got is that a quarter or a quarter or a quarter there so if you add all those three up you should get three over four and that is our answer thank you for watching uh please please subscribe and hopefully see you again sometime bye bye now